What's up guys, today we're going to be comparing the Moto G8 Power to the Redmi 9S. Now these are two budget phones coming in at around the $200 price point, uh, which is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with the hardware here. So as you can see, the hardware is uh, kind of different. Uh, we have a glass design on the 9s and we have a plastic build on the g8 power uh, so the 9s definitely feels just a little bit more premium in the hand now the railing is not uh metal it's actually plastic but as far as the weight they both actually feel the same since they both have uh, massive big batteries in them so they're not really light phones but as far as like the feeling in the hand the 9s definitely feels a little bit more premium for this price point and uh design wise i really like the uh g8 powers design a little bit more uh, i'm not a big fan of how uh xiaomi did the camera module setup it just looks weird and i think the just the white ring around the camera just makes it look a little bit off uh, but I do like the design a little bit more on the G8 Power. I like how they uh, did their camera uh, layout here. So I don't know. It's just a personal preference. I, it just never really grew on me uh, yet. Uh, but as you can see, uh, pretty much the same button layout. You have USB Type-C on both, headphone jack on both. Uh, you actually have stereo speakers on the G8 Power, which are definitely louder than the 9S. You only have one speaker on there. Uh, but coming around to the display, we have a 6.67 inch display on the 9S. It's a massive display, uh, 1080p, 395 for the PPI, and it gets pretty bright. Um, so outdoor use is fine and on the G8 you have a smaller but it's still a nice size display a 6.4 inch display a 1080p display 399 for the PPI uh, so on the G8 power you have the punch hole on the left hand side and on the 9s you have the punch hole in the middle now i kind of prefer the punch hole in the middle like on the a51 i think that's my favorite spot but uh, they both pretty much seem to be the same size so it's not a huge difference now uh, it really comes down to personal preference because when you're gaming you might want the punch hole at the bottom or you know you just don't care you want it at the middle for when you're watching videos so uh, it just really is a uh, personal preference but they both have really nice ips displays very bright very colorful so uh, pretty much the same as uh, when it comes to display it's just the 9s is just uh, much bigger so if you want a bigger phone or just a bigger display uh, then the 9s is definitely going to be the phone for you now here's a big difference so both these phones are running android 10 now the 9s has a shine uh, MIUI 11 on it and the G8 has pretty much stock Android with the Moto Actions and all that stuff but it's not like uh, it's just an application they really just left Android pretty much bare uh, so on the Xiaomi on the 9s uh, you have a lot of features like second space and you have a lot of features that they throw in there uh, to be able to take advantage of your phone uh, but some people might not like that some people might just prefer the cleaner uh, setup of Android 10 the stock version and I completely understand that if you don't want all the extra features but if you're somebody that needs those extra features uh, that MIUI 11 offers if you don't know I have a video going over that uh, software uh, please do check that out but yeah so you know I like stock Android they both have the Google uh, now page which I absolutely love so it just really comes down again to personal preference on which one you like all right so you have the snapdragon 665 on the moto g8 power with the adreno 610 gpu on the 9s you have the snapdragon 720g in the adreno 618 so basically uh if you're trying to game uh, on one of these devices the 9s is going to be the better phone here because you can install fortnite and but you can't play on high you can only play on medium settings uh, but on the g8 power you actually cannot install fortnite it said it wasn't compatible so i wasn't able to uh, install it so they both have four gigs of ram uh, as well but when it comes to overall speed and stuff like that um pretty much both these phones are going to be smooth they're not going to be lagging all over the place so the user experience as far as speed uh was perfectly fine on both of these guys now both base models have 64 gigs of storage and you also have a physical fingerprint scanner on both now it really comes down again to personal preference whether you like it on the back or you like it on the side so on the 9s it's on the side and on the moto ga 
power is on the back so it really just comes down i like the one on the side a little bit more i think it just feels a little bit more natural uh using your thumb than your index finger uh, but you know again it really comes down to what you're more comfortable with i know a lot of people are just more comfortable and accustomed to having it on the back uh, so again it comes down to personal preference but they're both extremely fast now as far as the cameras you have a quad camera setup on the 9s it's a 48 megapixel wide 8 megapixel ultra wide 5 megapixel macro for close-up shots and you have that 2 megapixel depth sensor you get 4k 30 fps the front facing camera is a 16 megapixel that shoots in 1080p now on the g8 uh, you also have a quad camera setup it's a 16 megapixel wide 8, 8 megapixel telephoto 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro 4k 30 fps 16 uh, megapixels for the front facing camera so as far as image quality goes um i'm leading towards the 9s i've been playing with these phones for a minute to make sure and it just overall takes uh cleaner photos more color accurate photos and the dynamic range is just overall better now if you watch my review on the g8 uh power or my unboxing uh they definitely made a step in the right direction it's not like it's so much better than the 9s especially with outdoor shots i was really impressed with the uh, g8 power the attention to detail and photos and pretty good color accuracy so both are super solid cameras but i was if i was going to pick one over the other it would be the 9s here so something that sucks with both of these phones is that they both lack nfc so if you are into mobile payments you will not be able to do that on either of these phones uh, which is unfortunate uh, so you do have a 5000 milliamp battery on the g8 power and you have a 5000 uh 5000 milliamp battery or 5020 milliamp battery on the 9s um and um you're getting around the same battery life from what i can see so you're looking at around motorola has a rated at three days of battery life and i believe the 9s has a rated at the same uh so if you're somebody that's a light user you're gonna love both of these phones because it's really hard to kill these phones in a day and it's really hard to kill these phones in two days if you're a light user so if you're not really gaming and stuff like that you're not really um you're just like on youtube just doing little stuff um both of these phones are going to be excellent so you can't really go wrong with either of them you can you're really looking at around 10 to 12 hours of screen on time uh with these phones so i really love that so you can't go wrong with battery life super solid on both so there you have it guys what do you guys think which one would you guys go with and i'll catch you guys in the next one